John Laurinaitis has claimed he was a victim of Vince McMahon. Brock Lesnar has been removed from a WWE game. And has John Cena teased an Elimination Chamber match? Stay tuned for the news. A week ago, allegations uh, towards Vince McMahon surfaced in a 67-page court document filed by former WWE employee Janelle Grant. Uh, she is suing McMahon, former head of talent relations John Laurinaitis, as well as WWE as a company for assault, trafficking, and physical and emotional abuse. The document claims <laughs> that Miss Grant was exploited during her time in WWE and several of the acts outlined in the document took place allegedly in the office of John Laurinaitis, the former head of talent relations. Now, the latest development in this uh, ongoing case comes from the lawyer Edwards Brennan, which represent John Laurinaitis. Now, in a statement made to Vice News, Mr. Brennan says, Mr. Laurinaitis denies the allegations in the misguided complaint and will be vigorously defending these charges in court, not the media. Like the plaintiff, Ms. Laurinaitis is a victim in this case, not a predator. The truth will come out. Now, Vice reached out for a follow-up statement for clarification from Mr. And Mr. Brennan replied, read the allegations, read the federal statute. Power, control, employment, supervisory capacity, uh, demands and re with repercussions if not met. Count how many times in the complaint Vince exerts control over both of them. It feels here like John Laurinaitis, um, and I don't want to speculate too heavily on this, of course, is throwing Vince under the bus. It sounds like he is admitting that perhaps some of the things in the lawsuit did indeed occur. Yeah. Uh, however, because of a power imbalance, he perhaps felt pressures to do them. That, yeah. That's that's the implication that I get from those um, from it, those it, statements from the lawyer. Of course, you, you, his legal advice in that situation would be something like that. And, and you see the extensive list of things in that lawsuit and the horrific uh, allegations that are, are brought forward. You would imagine his legal advice would be seeking to take that stance. For sure. Just a, a reminder, because I think a few people got confused on this. This is a civil lawsuit at the moment. A federal investigation is still ongoing, yeah. which could end up resulting in criminal charges. Um, but this is just a civil lawsuit at the moment. Uh, as always, we will keep you updated uh, on this. Absolutely. I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I read that statement. It, it was shocking, right? Uh, they, they work together so very, very closely. Yeah. Um, and it really does feel like, yeah, thrown under the bus. Uh, well, another man implicated in that lawsuit um, was Brock Lesnar, who has now been removed from a WWE game. Uh, the Vince McMahon lawsuit referenced a former UFC champion uh, who was also involved um, in the uh, in the trafficking and the the abuse that we talked about earlier um the document details instances of said former champion making distasteful requests of miss grant as well as miss grant being offered to them as a contract bargaining chip uh, the wall street journal of course went on to clarify yeah. that it was indeed brock lesnar um since then <coughs> brock lesnar was removed from the royal rumble uh, his plans for wrestlemania almost definitely look like they're Looks not like going to materialize um and now he has been removed by 2K from WWE Superstar, uh, Superstars rather. It's the um, Supercard. Supercard, the card game. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. Sorry. Um, and <laughs> so it's the it, it's the top trumps thing for your phone. Yeah. PW Insider um, adding to this going forward. PW Insider has been told by sources familiar to the matter that we should expect to see Lesnar downplayed, if not outright removed, as he was in the Supercard game as much as possible going forward by 2K and potentially other licensees. This is a very very close to the publication of 2K24 that comes out in about a month's time. Absolutely. You know, you're, we are about five weeks away from the release of that. You're going into your WrestleMania period where it's the busiest period of the year for wrestling and you've, you've one of your, well, top stars, Brock Lesnar, might not be anywhere near WWE's sort of marketing at all at least um removing from supercard again that's quite a massive deal it's a very very popular game and someone like brock has been in that for years so that's just gone from the game erased from the game essentially my understanding is from what i read yesterday that if you've got a brock card you get to keep it right but you can't upgrade it anymore you can't pull it you can't yeah you can't it, error, you can't what's going it. on so you, if, if you've got one you've still got it but you're not going to get any more no new users will be able to get yeah. one um Obviously, WWE 2K24 is celebrating 40 years of WrestleMania, Brock yeah. Lesnar and Vince McMahon, but they both had many, many huge WrestleMania moments. Um, and time is very, very tight. Yeah, uh, with, with, not long, with not long to go, yeah. If, if they do decide to, to remove anything, it is a very tough call on how, how that affects the big marketing push and how it affects the key 
40 years of WrestleMania mode that they're, they're touting for the game. It's, uh, it's going to be one to keep an eye on. For sure. Um, John Cena has seemingly teased a little something. Now, this is from John Cena's Instagram page. So it's John Cena. He's a bit of a troll on there. He posts things without context. <laughs> it's very, very difficult to work out a man that you cannot see. Uh, he posted a picture yesterday of little Dominic Mysterio, <laughs> right? He's put that on there. Now... This also relates to the Brock Lesnar news because Brock Lesnar was originally scheduled to be chucked out of the Royal Rumble, if reports are to be believed, by Dominic, by Dominic Mysterio, Mysterio right? leading to a match at Elimination Chamber. Now Brock's not going to be there. People are putting two and two together. Who's and, it going to be, and, right? Well, But John Cena posting a photo of Dominic Mysterio, you kind of need it. Look, the Elimination Chamber show is running, I don't want to say star power, but you're not, you've not got Roman Reigns. No, it is you've running. Not yeah. got, you've not got you're Seth Rollins. Right. You've not got CM Punk. I'll be peed off about a bought a ticket. Most of you can't help, can you? The Probably. Australian government's paying money for this. You yeah, know? And right. they've, they've not got some of the top stars. So maybe this is a way to just bring John Cena back in at the fold. Uh, going into, the again, WrestleMania season, it's, it's, it's so busy. You need those top names. And if there's some doubt about some stars with, um, with injuries or folk that they just don't want on TV at the moment, you kind of need John Cena back or you need someone off that, that status. Uh, him and Dominic Mysterio, though, what a spot for Dom if he does get it. That's a good laugh, isn't it? Yeah. Good for him, for sure. Uh, I Honestly, I just thought that Bron was going to get pulled up and essentially Bron would take Brock's road to WrestleMania and do all that. But you're totally right. It's lacking in star power. Cena will make that a lot more palatable. And I don't think sure. he'll admit, even if he does a half-assed match as well, which he yeah. wish. <laughs> Have a, get, get a comedy spot in there where R-Truth gets to be in the ring with his childhood hero, John Cena. I'm you get the back and forth with Dominic or Tom and Nick, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm The other option, is you put Bron Breaker in there, but when you've got the option to John Cena and Bron Breaker yeah. for star power, it's obviously Bron Breaker. I never thought I'd sit here with you and hear your fantasy book, a John Cena, R-Truth, Dominic Mysterio situation. Uh, well hey, done. No, I'm sold. I like it. I'll be watching. I like it. And you know what? I actually think there's a good chance that this could happen. John Cena, he's a troll on there and everything. Yeah. He might just be having a laugh. Um, but they're well aware that they are lacking in star power. Both of their world their, their world champions the, aren't going to be there on the male side. Yeah. No the big question, if, though, is will he have recovered from his surgeries that he took back in October? He had a surgery on both of his arms, and we know he's Super Cena, so maybe. Oh, yeah, he but did, but he's old Super he's Cena old now. He's old Super Cena. Oh. Will, will he have had enough recovery time? I don't know, but he could go in there with cast on his arms. You know what? He could he could come out there, he could say a few words, but promise them WrestleMania. Like, yeah. like oh. he did us. Oh, <laughs> don't do that again, John. <laughs> no, he's not had time to be proven alive yeah, just yet. True. Yeah. Dominic comes down, AA, everybody's happy. As long as yeah, his arms are all right. Uh, one man who is going to be there, you want to talk about star power, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, will be at Elimination Chamber. It's on February 24th. It's not yet known if Cody's going to be in action or just appearing, but but uh, I would suggest it'll probably be in action. I feel like he should be now, <laughs> yeah. After given... we've just mentioned the lack of star power on that show, on on uh, or looking like it's going to be on that show. Uh, yeah, he should be in a big spot. I don't know. Thinking Solo. of possible matches. Yeah, maybe that's where we kick off the Bloodline stuff. Jimmy. Yeah, it's Jimmy. Got, it's got to be something, something like that. Someone to do with the Bloodline. The other case is you have him come out and basically go, I'm going to make my decision who I'm facing at Elimination Chamber and just stretch that story for the oh, next three weeks. Oh, no, screw Don't that see story. It. It's making Cody look like a bellin. The fact that he, <laughs> no, his character has yeah, even yeah. considered it for a, a moment. Obviously, he's going to choose Finish Roman. I don't. I, I think it's insulting to our intelligence yeah, <laughs> fair. for them to even be teasing that. So Solo I, versus Cody. Like their hands are tied, right? Because yeah. it's a rough situation at the moment. They're just trying to fill time, I feel. But yeah, Cody Solo or Heyman. Cody Jimmy. Cody Heyman. Cody Heyman. Give us that. Yeah, something yeah. something like that. Anyway, that's it uh, from us. We will be back very shortly with more wrestling news. Have a good day. Enjoy yourselves. Give us a smile. See ya.